Hi everyone, Great Power 60 here. I decided last night to do a little bit of regular paper crafting and I opened up a few videos and then I was looking at Septeria 18 and she was showing us again how to make these cute little pockets where you can put things in and then how to make small um, little uh, envelopes that you can also include little things and I thought these would be great so there's one and I also added I cut it in half a little velcro to keep it closed and I can put little dangles on here I could do whatever but I haven't decided yet and then this was the other one that I did a little bit different again you can put stuff in there another little velcro envelope to put some goodies in i have some happy mail to send out so i thought this would be kind of a fun way to add a few things we went shopping today we went to michael's we went to dollar tree and when i got home i have two packages of um amazon amazon Shall we take a look at those first? I'm kind of anxious. <laughs> I'm kind of anxious. Let's take a look at what I have. It says tear here. So let's open it up and see. In a big bag like that. Ah, those are my little extra pieces of... Um, wax melt uh, impressions that I picked up and it came in this set so here is one I'm just going to show you quickly because I got a lot to show you today here is another one with a rose I liked that and this one says what I th I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it looks better in there. Anyway, that one. Let's do this a little more quickly. There's this one. For those of you who like um, weed, narcotic weed, <laughs> weed, my marijuana. And this is kind of the tree of life, which is what I like as well, because that'll go well on my gratitude prayer prayer journal that I have so I'm glad I got those and let's see what is in here let's cut it across the bottom I hope it's what I think it is oh it is it is it is let's get rid of garbage this is the fun part for me is when I haven't been able to order anything for a long time and I've saved up a little bit of money strictly for doing my craft. All right, let's pull these two out. So this is decor paper and it's the spring now, I'm not going to um, show you everything because it's just way too much to show. But I can pull out a little bit and show you. Maybe, let me, let me move my camera. Okay, I don't know what the heck is the matter with me. Um, I thought I was filming. And what I ended up doing was not filming, not pressing the button. Ugh! And I've got so much to show you. Okay. You know what? I am just going to go ahead with Michael's, and I'll show you. Um, I'll show you the um, Amazon order in a minute because it's just all in my way here. Actually, let me show you this. Okay. I really, I've been watching those AM, 
ASMR um, journalings, and I love them. And you know what I love is all the wood. All the wood packages that they put things in. I'm going to fix this and add, add some felt in there so that it won't pull out. But there's a drawer, and there is a little, and it was $4.99. And that is another one I'm going to add onto my shelf. I just find I love these. I love these. And like I say, this is just falling out. But by adding a little padding, a little felt or foam, but I think I'll probably use felt, it will prevent it from sliding out so quickly. So I picked up that one. $4.99. I picked up only two. There was a couple of other ones there, but I wasn't really fussy. And then this looks very similar to one that my dad had, and I have it up there. It, it's like a, it's like a um, suitcase, you know, because it has one of those cl clasps on it. Anyway, this thing here is just, just a um, box. And again, it was $4.99. It says it had Sony, um, uh, uh, Sony accessories in it. I'm not going to take those off now because my scraper takes these off so well without ruining the finish. So there's another box. And these are all going to be used for only my tools that I have. Now here comes mom, so I'll be right back. I'm not having any luck trying to get my videos done for some reason. I think because I'm rushing and I don't want. Okay, where did I leave off? I have no idea. Uh, the boxes. Okay, so then I, um, that was the last place we went. Went to Value Village and I saw those for $4.99. I picked them up. We went to Michael's. Michael's had Easter stuff on sale, and I really liked the look of this little bowl. And it was regular $9.99 in Canada, $6.99 in the U.S. Uh, it was 60% off, and I think I paid $4 for it. Okay, I went there to get some black ink. I was also looking for, you know, the little bottles of uh, refill so that you could refill. They didn't have black in there. But I was in a hurry because mom was in the car. So I just picked this one up. It was five something and I, there was a big of a sale on. And then of course, being a senior, I also get a little discount. Um, I was looking, I was looking in some uh, clearance stuff and I went by the moles and I saw these moles and I thought these would be great to put my wax melts in. I'm going to try it and see because I love these roses and wouldn't it be nice to have those accented in your journal. So that's what I picked that up for. These were at, in a clearance center and I should have picked up two and I didn't. They were $3 each. Now these are lightweight lightweight there's 50 sheets and these are the different colors i should have picked up two and when i go get my son from work tonight i think i'm going to run by uh it's on the way uh into michael's and pick up two more of these because i like the white light weight i can stamp on these i can um do all kinds of things that i like to do with these so and i can also cut them with um with my dies. Um, I went in for the ink and I was also going to buy one of those, um, what do they call it? A blending tool. I was looking at the blending tool, so I picked it up. It, it had, you know, it was, I don't know, $12. And then I was looking at getting some other distress inks and I was looking at two different colors that I was gonna get. One was kind of a, old green a really olive dark not dark but olive type anyway um and they were like 11 or 12 dollars so i had 11 dollars 12 dollars for the for the stamp thing and 11.99 each for the 
to uh, Distress Inks and $5.99 for this. And I added it all up and I went, this, I got this, it's mini, mind you, but I got this little kit. It's a Distress Ink kit for $26. So I'm saving quite a bit and it, it is mini, but whatever. So it comes with three mini Distress Inks. Um, I don't know which ones, so we'll find out when I open it up. Um, uh, a mini ink blending tool with three foams. A mini mister. It's one of those little that you use for the water, which is great. I had one here, but could be anywhere. Uh, Manila tags. Uh, eight of them. And unless it says number eight, so maybe it's a number eight style. And a booklet, a technique booklet. I thought this was a better buy. Okay. Let, that was my Michaels haul. Let me put that down here. Sorry if I hit the camera. Now, Dollar Tree. I don't know where I left off, and I apologize. I don't know where I left off. So... If I have to edit this part of the Dollar Tree, if it's already in there, it probably is. But anyway, no, maybe I'll leave it. I'll check my video and then I'll go. So now let's look at what I got at Amazon. In the first package, I got my um, stamps that I had ordered. They come in a set of six and there's cute little patterns on these. So I've got this. This is almost like the tree of life. This one, for those of you who are Mary Jane, marijuana, it's legal here in Canada, so it's okay. Um, some flowers on here. This is another, I don't know. Sorry, I was looking at it. It's that one. Then there's this one, almost looks like a chalice. Almost looks like a chalice of some kind, and the rose. And I just wanted different patterns because I didn't have, you know, I, I was using the pence and I was using the other money and I was using my D, but I didn't have any others, so now I have those. So that's what I got at, at, uh, Amazon. The second thing I got were these two packages that I had ordered. They're deco paper. This one is called Spring. And in there are all these sweet little pieces. There's little people in here. There's all kinds of ephemera in here. Tickets and all kinds of stuff and people. Different styles of people. TV set, some ketchup or whatever that is, so, and cassette, all of that. So all that little bit of ephemera. And then there's the paper. And the paper is just wonderful. I just love it. It's very retro. A lot of this is very retro. Coming from the old days those and the petite journal it's got these you get a couple of these you get some advertising and here there's these ladies different ladies you can use different brother sister i don't know what that is baby's own Aesop. some more a lot of retro things another one of the petite so that was the spring it was called the second one i picked i ordered is this one here and i think it's more artsy it's deco paper and it's more in the art field so there's all kinds of replicas of artwork uh, pieces lovely lovely pieces even uh Oh, just beautiful, beautiful papers, lots of papers, lots of tickets, lots of ephemera, frames, 
uh, mirrors or whatever they are, seals, which is what I've been trying to do. Flowers, more tickets, more tickets. I gotta put these all back in the bag. More tickets, lots of ephemera, lots of little pieces that are going to be, that are such great pieces for accenting. And a lot of them is art work. And Van Gogh is in here somewhere. And there's a lot of these pages that look like journals or cards and letters. I used to type just like that. I had a typewriter when I was a young girl first working. All of my typewriters looked like that, especially when you used um, carbon paper because we used to have to make, when we typed a letter, we always had to type with carbon paper so that we'd have copies, sometimes two or three. Musical paper, a lot of art things. Oh, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased because I don't have any of these. And in order to um, do some of the new work that I'm doing, I call it new work because I haven't done it before. Um, this is really going to help me um, when you have the tools to create, it allows you to expand your creativity and your knowledge of how to do things. And you know what I mean. And these ones here, I think they even had stained. Anyway, so that, put that all together. That is what I got. Now I'm going to stop for a minute and check my other video to see if I did the Dollar Tree haul. Okay. Sorry, but I keep getting interrupted for now. I wanted to get this done in a hurry. Okay. I was watching a video. I wish I could remember. If I remember her name, I'll link it below. She does some really cool DIYs from Dollar Tree. Sorry. From Dollar Tree items. And I saw her create some really cool things using these baskets and so i went to dollar tree they didn't have much they didn't have exactly what i wanted but they did have this basket which is what i'm going to replicate with um what she did like i said i can't remember i can't remember her name and i bought a lot of greenery oh i have flowers i have tons of flowers but i don't have a lot of greenery so I picked up these one, two, um, three different types there. And I, oops, and I also picked up just this little pick that I'll be able to use pieces with. And I also picked up two more of these. I know I have two out in, in the, in the, on the balcony in my gardening box, but I picked up two fresh ones to make something um so i'm kind of doing even though i am really really fascinated and wanting to de-stress using my new art journaling form uh, eventually i want to incorporate um different medias different um textures and so on but for now i just kind of want to get to the flow of it and that is why i i got these extra things from um amazon these are really going to be nicely uh put into my stash but i'm also interested in creating where did i put them you know creating regular paper crafts once in a while, I like to just do that. But sometimes I feel like I'm doing things I've already done before and I don't want to do that. So, but because I am sending out a happy mail, I do want to um, include a few things, things that I've made um, that have been already prepackaged, little things like that. When I send out a giveaway, I always like to include a few extra things that I have made over the years. And that way, I get them out of my house. 
which is one of the reasons why I don't do swaps because, I mean, I love to send things. I love to send you guys stuff. I just don't want to receive anything because I have too much already. So forgive me for that. That is the reason I don't do swaps. And I know they're very popular. I know they are. Um, I just wish that, um, well, maybe someday I will. Maybe I'll do one of those kind of swaps where um, I think it's Scrap Diva, Scrap, Scrap Diva, oh, and I can't remember. Oh, she was wonderful, and she did a lot where she would have like four people send in four different things, and they would go to four different people, and sometimes they would make one extra one for her, and it would be whatever theme, you know. That might be a fun idea. Um, maybe that would be a fun idea. And that way, what I receive, if if I don't feel I need it because I have too much, I can use those to share and also um, use them in Happy Mail and send them off to people and let them know who actually made it and see if we can create kind of a little community that way. I could do that. That is a thought. Um, another thought that I have come up with is that um, a lot of people are doing Patreon and they're doing memberships. I don't know if, I, I don't know what's involved in the membership and what you're gonna get out of it because I want you to get something out of it. With Patreon, you can get um, videos of me that I don't post online because I'm always videotaping. Once I start, it seems like it's like an avalanche. It seems like I just keep going and going. And I don't always wanna post them, but I wanna show you and I wanna let you know. So by having a Patreon page, I can have those chats. I can show you things that maybe um, I already have videos on my regular channel that maybe I can share with you. And maybe I can have one girl, I know she does monthly mail outs to her Patreons. Now, that's fine if you've got like 10 or 20 patrons, but if you've got like 6,000, that would be rather difficult. But um, chances are I would never have that many anyway. But I like that idea. I like that idea of having a monthly mail out in appreciation for being a patron on my channel. So those are things I want to look forward to. And I know I kind of combined this into uh, my haul video, but I just wanted to get some feedback from you. How would you feel if I did that, where I share more of mom and I doing things together, um, going on, you know, car vlogs, stuff like that or uh, things that I'm creating that I'm not going to put on my regular channel, but I want to share with you. So let me know in the comments below what you think and let me know. Mom's here again. It's me. It's you. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? I just got to finish. I'm I just need five more minutes. Okay? Sixty? Five. There it's at five. Let's turn this around. And there's mom. Come over here. So that's your baby. Mm -hmm. Filthy, so. filthy baby. Yeah. And what have you got in here? It's all wet. If you can hear an echo, it's mom's it's hearing all aid. Wet stuff. It's oh those are your yeah. those are your gloves. See, it's all gone. Yeah, well let's put your baby in there so he doesn't get cold. There. What about this? We'll put that in your coat. In my what? In your coat pocket. In oh. your in your room, so you'll have it my when we car. go. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right now, I'm going to take them. Okay, you can take I them. Just okay, and I'll be with you in one minute. I okay. Hope so. She doesn't like being alone. Okay, guys. So I'm doing this in the middle of the day, and I know. Anyway. Let me know what you think. Um, that that may be something coming up in May. I think I may start that in May. As I say, sometimes I get going and I have so much I want to share. 
Um, I haven't gotten into the shorts. I did one when I got lost, if you remember. Um, but it might be something to help promote my channel a little bit. So um, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I hope that uh, you liked my video today and you got to see mom. And I will see you again soon. Thank you so much for all your prayers, for all your sweet thoughts, for your absolutely fantastic ideas and tips for me. I really appreciate it. You know, it's always nice to get extra help. She's back again. I'll let you go. Thanks for joining me. Bye for now.